In this presentation, we're going to be allocating expenses to their unrestricted categories, that being the admin, the community service, the education, and the fundraising. Get ready, because here we go with zero. Here we are in our not-for-profit dashboard. Let's head on over to Excel to see what our objective will be. So we're going to be opening up Excel. We're on tab 10 here. And you'll recall that uh, we have been entering this information into our trial balance, our trial balance having one column of numbers, basically being a chart of accounts with the numbers. Then we had the breakout for things like restricted and unrestricted categories having to be done with separate accounts. Then if we scroll to the right, we made the statement of activities, the statement of activities then breaking out between the two columns without restrictions and with restrictions. And we've reflected that in our system using the tracking feature now the items with restrictions then we want further breakout because note down here that we have our items that are grouped by what they're used for the programs and then the admin or the managerial and the fundraising we also need them to be broken out by their nature now when we enter this into the zero system obviously by default the system puts things in there by their nature because that's what normally happens with a for-profit and then we're going to use the tracking feature to be able to then break it out by function. So now we're gonna be going in and breaking it out by function. Now note before this, what we had done is we had entered this information into uh, the system and we have only been breaking it out by nature. And then we said, we're gonna do a two-step process, just do a normal bookkeeping process, breaking it out by nature, not worried about the function, the programs, categor categorize breakout. And then at the end of the, the process, we're going to go back in and do them all, breaking them all out in this process, the uh, 40, 20, 20, 20, all at the same time. So that's what we're going to do now. I think that's a good way to do it because then you can, you can uh, it's easier for the data input to do just the data input without having to do this breakout every time. And then go back in and do the breakout that, that's going to specialize your tasks a little bit and make it a little bit uh, easier to do. Also know that you would have to go, come up internally with what, the breakout should be for the programs the the 20 40 40 uh the 20 the 40 20 20 20 breakout here so we're going to be using this breakout in our problems you'd have to come to a determination of what the correct breakout would be for our two programs and then the admin and then the fundraising but most uh not-for-profit organizations will have a similar kind of need here where they're going to have programs then they're going to have the admin for the programs and then they're typically going to have fundraising uh, type of categorization so the amount of programs and whatnot might be more or less but you're going to have probably a similar kind of uh, kind of breakout that you would need to then allocate the expenses towards all right let's go back on over to zero and let's take a look at our reports so i'm going to go back over to zero and i'm going to be pulling up an income statement our income statement worksheet so we're going to go to the accounting drop down Within the accounting dropdown, we're going to go to our income statement worksheet. Remember that we created this worksheet in a prior presentation, adjusting a standard income statement. So if you don't have that, take a look at the prior uh, presentation. You can see how we built uh, this worksheet from a standard income statement. Going to hold down control, scroll up just a bit, get up to that 125. That 125 is where we like to be. Then I'm going to scroll down and we're going to go to our expenses. So you'll note within the expenses, that we have the total column over here, but none of them have been allocated. They should be in the unrestricted category and then further categorized by the, the type of breakout, the 20, 20, 20, 40 breakout that we need to have. So we're going to go in and do this in a step-by-step -step process. Now we're going to go into each of these items, reallocate them to one of the categories that will fit under the subcategory of the unrestricted items then they will appear over here then we'll make another report which will give us the breakout the detail of the unrestricted basically give it us the detail category by category so we can see that breakout in that report so as we do this it'll disappear from this column it's going to reappear over in this column then we'll make another report that'll take this column and break it out into its detail the 20 20 20 40 detail all right let's do it we're going to go into the 4400 we're just going to drill down it up oh, by the way too you may want to make a copy of this report first print it out because those numbers shouldn't change all we're going to do is change the allocation so that so the overall number isn't going to change we're going to change the allocation so you might want to print it out just to make sure if you have any kind of problem with the allocation that you still know what the what the overlying number is okay so once we're in the detail report we're going to go into this item here this is going to take us to the transaction which will be the journal entry 
Next, we're going to edit this journal entry. I'm going to select the drop down here and we're going to edit the journal entry. And what we're going to do is take the debit side, which is going to be uh, the expense, and we're going to then allocate it out. So what I would recommend doing is first uh, choosing the, the items. So we're going to take the same depreciation category and then we're going to be allocating to the 20, 20, 20, 40 over here. And then we'll do the actual calculation for the allocation. So I'm just going to say 7,000 again here. I'm going to put 7,000. Once we're done, I'm going to delete this first row or just delete the numbers in them at least. And so then I'm going to go back down and I'm going to do this again. I'm going to say we need another one for 7,000 for the depreciation. And then we'll do this again, 7,000 depreciation. And then we'll do this again with the 7,000 for depreciation. So we're going to break this out into four items. We're going to break it out in accordance with our percentages. So now let's allocate the categories. It's going to be in the unrestricted column. So I'm going to select the drop down. We're going to pick the 20 and the admin, unrestricted community service, 20, unrestricted, uh, and then the education, 40, and then the unrestricted, and then we got the fundraising, 20. So now we need to allocate this 4,000 out in accordance with the 20, 20, 40, 20. So I'm going to take out the trusty calculator here. So let's pull up the trusty calculator. Then we're going to take the 4400 times uh, 0.2, and that's going to be the 880. So I'm going to put the 880 on the debit side for all the 20% one. So 880. So I forget, I missed an 8 there. 880. And then this one's going to be also 880. And this one down here is going to be 880. And then we'll do this again. I'm going to say, all right, let's say we do this again for the uh, 4400 times 0.4. And that's going to be the 1760. So that should be 1760. All right, now we're now we're doubled up on the debit side. I'm just going to delete the first column. I don't need the first column anymore. We've reallocated it. That means the debits are going to be on the bottom, but that's okay. And I'm going to say delete that, uh, this first item. And we're still left with the 4,400 and the 4,400 here. So that looks good. Let's go ahead and then post this. And uh, we should see an adjustment with regards to the allocation. So note the account will be the same, but the allocation now differing. So we're going to go back into our report. I'm going to go to the accounting dropdown. We're going to go then to the income statement worksheet within the income statement worksheet. We see now the allocation down here is in the unrestricted category. It's been removed here. Now it's not been removed here because we didn't we didn't put anything in, in the assigned category for the restricted. And I might talk about how we can adjust that at a later point in time so that this, this item will go away here. But in any case, we have this one here now. Now what we'd like to do is see the breakout between the 20, 20, 20, 40 that we broke it out for. So to do that, let's make another, uh, in, another income statement. Now we could do it with this one. We could make another statement on our worksheet and put in, you know, the four columns that consist of this unrestricted item here. But I think it might that might get to a long worksheet. So you could do that if you want to see it all on one worksheet. Uh, or you could go to another worksheet. And now we could say these are going to be the totals for unrestricted and restricted. And then we have the breakout of our other worksheets that are going to show us the detail so that so that it's not all in one spot here. So it's up to you on, on how you want to uh, to format that. But that's how we'll do it here. So I'm going to write, and, and that flexibility to do that is great. That's what Zero has that, uh, again, a lot of other software does not have that flexibility within within the system here. You have to use Excel to get that flexibility. So in any case, I'm going to hit the drop down. We're going to say duplicate. And then let's go back to the prior tab. And then let's go up to the income statement. So I'm going to go to the accounting drop down. We're going to go to the income statement. So we'll make another income statement here. All right, now we're going to customize this income statement. So we got the date range looks good. Let's go to the edit layout down below. Edit layout down below, and we're going to make some columns that will make up those unrestricted items. So we're going to go to the edit layout. I'm going to hold down control. We'll scroll down just a bit, bring it down to that 100%. So then within the 100%, I'm going to go then up top. We're going to be adding a column. So we're going to say add column, and I want to look at the unrestricted. So add column related to the unrestricted. And then we're going to select the drop down. I'm just going to pick our percentages. So we got the admin. So we'll pick up the admin. And there we go. And then I'm going to change the date here. So we'll change the date. And, or I don't need the date. I'm going to delete the date or the 20. So we're going to say, okay. 
So that should be good. So that's our admin. So then I'll make another column. So I'm going to make another column and it'll be unrestricted too. And then I'm going to select the drop down and this one's going to be the 20% uh, community service. 20% community service. I'm going to double click on the tab then and we're going to delete the 2020 here. So we'll delete the 2020 there. So there we have that. And then let's do it again. So we're going to add another column going up to the column up top. So we'll add another column. It's going to be for unrestricted. And then I'm going to select the drop down and we're going to go then to the education. Let's go to the education and then say OK. And then double click on the education. And we can then say that that's going to be for the education. So there we have that. And then let's do another one. I'm going to add another one. So we'll add another column. And I'm going to say this is going to be unrestricted again. And the last uh, section is going to be the fundraising. So fundraising. Then I'll double click on this. And we can delete the 2020. So there we have that. Now then I'm going to pull over or that this 2020 column, I don't even want this because this is this is going to be the total all the numbers. So I don't want that. I'm actually going to delete it. I'm going to click on the column up top, I'm going to go up to the trash can and just simply delete it. All right, so there we have it. Now we could do some more customization here if we want. We probably do want a total column here and we might we might also want to total up the program information versus the non program stuff. So and again, really nice that we have this format in here that we could do this. The two programs are the education program. So I can pull this to the right. I'm going to grab it or I'm to the left. I'm going to grab it and pull it to the left. And then we have the community service, which again, I'm going to I'm going to click on it, grab it and drag it to the left. Now, all we need is the total column for all of them. But let's we can also put another subtotal for the programs and we could do that with a formula. So there's two ways you know, there's two ways we can do it. I could I could select the drop down and we could go unrestricted and choose the two programs that would then be included and make that the total column or we could do it with a formula and you might do both to have a double check to have an easy double check to see that the calculation of these two columns adds up to selecting just those two those two line items. Uh, let's do it with a formula here. So we'll say formula and then I'm going to say that this is going to be insert i'm going to pick up the education plus and then we'll insert the community service education and community service and then we'll change the name to uh program program total so right total program program total i don't know which way would be better then i'm going to grab it and i'm going to drag it to the left so that's going to sum up the two programs and then we can have a total column to the right. Again, the total column could take into account all four of these columns uh, or we can use another formula for the total or we can do both, which will give us that double check. So I'm going to do I'm going to do both to give us kind of that double check. So I'm, I'm going to say let's hit the drop down here again and I'm going to say that we want to, to do let's say first the formula. So I'm over here in the total column now. So the formula could be two ways. I could say this column plus this column plus this column plus this column. Or I could say, hey, these, this total program adds up these two columns. So I could say total program plus admin plus fundraising. Let's do that. So I'm going to say, all right, insert the, the program total plus the admin. Oh, hold on. That's not how you do it. Plus, you do it with the drop down here. The admin plus the fundraising okay and then and so there we have that oh i did it again plus the fundraising and this is going to be the total formula so that's the total by formula and then let's do one more total and do the same thing but then just pick up the four the four categories within the total column so let's do it one more time and say this is going to be unrestricted. And then I'm just simply going to pick up the four items, which is going to be this admin, community service, education, fundraising. I can't pick up the unassigned because if I pick up unassigned, it'll actually pick up unassigned in both the unrestricted and restricted categories. So we want to make sure to assign everything. 
uh, that's going to be assigned. Okay, so then what I'm going to say okay, and there we have that, and then I'm going to go to the right, and I'm going to double click on this and rename it, and this is going to be uh, total by category, and that'll be a double check number. These two should result in the same numbers, so it should give us kind of a double check. So this is going to be our worksheet here. This isn't going to be a final report we give to someone else. The final report we give to someone else is only going to have, you know, these four columns possibly, or five columns or so. So we'll make another one to give outside. This will be our internal worksheet to basically double check. And you can see if, if I added all this information onto the prior income statement over here, then it starts to get very long, very cumbersome, right? It, it's probably easier to be jumping back and forth between the two custom reports. Uh, so, so let's see what it looks like. I'm going to say, okay, done. I'm going to hold down control, scroll up just a bit, back to that, to that one, two, five. That should do it. So here, here we have it. So now we've got the, the program, the programs. So here's the program information. And then here's the fundraising and uh, the total by formula and the total by category. So notice these two columns should be the same, total by formula and total by category. And uh, when we look at the expenses here, here's the breakout, the education, 40 the community service at the 20, then if you add those two up, that's the total for the programs. Then we have the admin at the 880 and the 880 for the fundraising. And then this should be the total of, of this plus this plus this. And then this is a double check on the total, which is pulling in the total by category. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue with this now. If I go back to this, this tab, the other income statement, uh, and let's refresh this just to update, make sure we're updated here. So I'm going to update this and we'll note, so we're pulling this information, all these expenses, and they're going to show up from here and pull over to here. Then we're taking this total column and, and we're double checking that with our other statement, breaking this information out now by category, the unrestricted category. So this total then will add up to that same, that same total over there uh, for the unrestricted. So there's the unrestricted total. Here's the 232,600 the 232600 and then we'll break this information so every time we make another change it'll then appear over here and it'll give us our breakout this breakout then will match uh, what we have on our excel worksheet so if we go up to our excel worksheet for example and take a look at depreciation here which is the 1760 the 880 the 880 and so on so right that's what we have on this side so let's say yeah so that looks good so we're just going to continue with this process next time we'll have these two reports open and we'll, we'll jump back and forth and just drill down on each one of them and have them basically reappear over here as we as we make that change and we'll just continue this process and get good at doing it fairly quickly so it's a fairly easy and as painless process as possible before we finish up, however, we should save this report. So we're gonna we're gonna rename it. So let's call this. I'm gonna call call this the unrestricted worksheet worksheet. So I got two eyes in here. So unrestricted worksheet, and then let's go down and save it. So I'm gonna go uh, save as custom, and I, I'm gonna rename it here. Same name, unrestricted worksheet and then i'm not going to overwrite the, the the original uh income statement i'm just going to save it here so we'll save that and then just let's make sure that it will reappear for us so let's go let's go into the second tab just to double check in case it gets messed up and then we're going to go to the accounting we're going to go into the reports and then we want to take a look at uh, at those custom reports so we're going to go to the second tab which has the custom reports and now we've got the unrestricted worksheet, the restricted. So now we've got our income, our income statement worksheet and then the breakout of these two. I'm also going to put it into the favorites by clicking this little star button. That means that when I go to the accounting dropdown, it's going to be showing up here in our favorite reports, which is great. So that's going to be it for now. Let's get out of here.